Good morning, welcome back to another vlog. I was over here taking my sweet ass time all morning and now of course I have to rush because I have a nail appointment. And then later today I have an appointment to get my eyelash extensions filled. So yeah, it's gonna be a day of some beauty stuff, some pampering, but before I head out, gotta put on my perfume, of course, as always. This portion of the video is sponsored by Dossier. I love Dossier, you guys know. Sorry, are you finished? You guys know that I always talk about them. I've been working with them for years now, and even when they're not sponsoring me, like I am legitimately a huge fan of them. Look at my perfume collection. Um, okay, literally all Dossier. Dossier makes dupes for designer brand name fragrances, so you can get the exact same fragrance for a fraction of the price. Up to 70 to 90% less, in fact, which is so crazy. By just eliminating celebrity marketing and the packaging, retail markups, etc., they give you the exact same thing. Same exact high quality, lasts just as long. I've purchased quite a few dupes of perfumes that I used to wear in the past, from Dossier and I've also discovered a lot of new fragrances from there as well. I love that I can just try out new perfumes from Dossier and not have to like risk spending so much money because it is so much more affordable on there and they have a really great return policy. And I've truly discovered some of my favorite signature scents from Dossier, one of them being the Ambery Saffron, which is a replica of the Baccarat Rouge 540, which is a super popular one, but oh my god, I am just obsessed. I literally get compliments every time I go anywhere when I'm wearing this because it is so powerful, it lasts such a long time, and it is really one of those scents that like catches people's attention and they're like, what is that? What are you wearing? Or if they recognize the scent and then I tell them that I got it from Dossier and that I spent a fraction of the price compared to the original, they're like, wait, what? Where'd you get it from? What's that website? So yeah, this is my second bottle of this one and I actually just recently ordered a third because I needed a backup because I love this stuff. Like, out of all the perfumes I have, yes, there are others that I really love, but this is just like my tried and true so we're gonna go with that today if you guys want to try out dossier i'll have a link in the description i also have a discount code sam10 that will save you 10 percent off so make sure you use that and also make sure you select catch at the last step of checkout that is their rewards program now so every purchase you make you can earn store credit but i gotta go or i'm gonna be late to my nail appointment <sighs> Here's the before, they're pretty grown out. I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna do color-wise this time, but we'll see, I will show you. I am obsessed. I ended up doing silver chrome, and I just think they look so cool. Like, my nails literally look like metal. She did a black gel polish first as the base, and then whenever they do chrome, it's just like a powder, like a glittery, powder kind of looks like an eyeshadow sort of that they just rub onto the nail she literally took a sponge tip applicator exactly like the kind of thing you would get in like an eyeshadow compact from the drugstore and just took the powder and like rubbed it on the nail on top of the black gel color and then put a clear top coat and yeah that's how you get the chrome look. Anyway, I had about an hour to kill until my lash appointment, so I decided to just come home. I'm gonna heat up some leftovers for lunch and then head out to that. I made these bowls the other day, so I'm just gonna heat everything up and make another one. We have white rice with roasted sweet potatoes that I just cut up and threw in the air fryer with olive oil, salt, and pepper. And then we have black beans, and we have sauteed kale. Again, just olive oil, salt, and pepper, and some ground turkey that I seasoned with spicy taco seasoning. I'm just gonna throw everything together in a bowl, and that's gonna be lunch. 
Good afternoon. I'm getting ready to go work at the salon this evening. It's about two o'clock, so I gotta leave in like 30 minutes. So I'm just putting a couple curls in my hair. I had a pretty chill day, didn't really do much, but I did watch the movie Barbarian, finally. It was in theaters for a while. I don't know why this thing is saying that the battery is low and that it's dying when it's literally plugged in. This is the cordless Dyson Corral straightener. And I really like it because it doesn't, like it gets hot and it does a good job, but it doesn't like burn your freaking hair off like most flat irons do. But anyway, I had been wanting to see that movie when it was in theaters because it has such good reviews and I heard really good things about it, but I just never got around to going to see it. And then I saw that it was coming out on HBO Max today. So I watched that earlier and it was really good. I didn't know what to expect. I honestly, I had heard a lot about this movie, but I had no idea what the plot even was. Like I didn't watch any trailers, didn't read anything about it. Um, I didn't want to have any spoilers. Like I wanted to go into it not knowing what to expect. And I'm glad that I did. I think even if you read the summary and like the plot description, it doesn't tell you much. So you still won't know. Like I feel like what the movie's actually about really catches you off guard. But it was really good. Definitely worth a watch. That's like I said on HBO Max. I love horror movies all year round, but especially this time of year. Pretty much every night I have been watching a horror movie before bed. I'm one of those people. <laughs> but I feel like it's just so hard to find one that's actually good. I rarely actually feel like creeped out or scared because so many of them I feel like just center around like sex scenes and like I don't know or there's just unlikable characters or like you know where it's going and what's gonna happen next like it's really predictable I'm just gonna loosen these up it just adds like a little bit of texture and like a bend to my hair i am just going to put on a little tiny bit of makeup just like a little under eye concealer and some liquid blush and maybe a little bit of brow gel i'll be right back and then i'll show you my outfit because i gotta leave here's what i'm wearing mom jeans from abercrombie bralette crop top kind of thing from cotton on and then this jacket i actually got at a little boutique in gettysburg pennsylvania like two years ago and i just got these hoops i ordered them from etsy i'll put the store name in the description i don't know how i feel about them they're super super lightweight which is good because they're comfortable but th i don't know like when i took them out of the packaging they just like felt really cheap to me they weren't expensive anyway they were like around $30 for some reason I was expecting them to be a little bit smaller and these are definitely the ones I ordered like they look exactly the same in person as they do on the photos now that I like I was looking back at them but for some reason when I look at them on other people they don't look that big but when I look at them on myself I feel like they look huge and obnoxious. But maybe I'm just being dramatic. I don't know. What do you think? I really like these earrings that I have in my second hole. They're from Ana Luisa. They're just like a little hook. So. Yeah. Cute. The little studs are Ana Luisa also. I need to put a little lip balm on because my lips feel pretty dry and then I'm gonna head to work I'll see you when I get back well this week took a turn I'm currently look how cute my little boy currently outside of the vet and it's 7 well right now it's 7 30 but I got here at 7 they open at 7 30 
went inside. They took my information, but the doctor doesn't get in till eight. So I have to sit out here and wait. Benny started getting sick Monday night. I noticed that he had like, when I was going to bed, he had like really bad gas and I was like, ooh. <laughs> but I didn't think anything of it because like that happens sometimes. And then he, like shortly after I fell asleep, he woke me up because I could hear that he was starting to throw up. So, which again, you know, if you have a dog, you know, like that just happens sometimes. Um, so I didn't think anything of it. So I take him out of his crate, I'm cleaning up his blanket and as I'm doing that, he just starts having crazy diarrhea, like just uncontrollable. And I, I was a little concerned, but again, didn't like think too much of it. Um, I took him out. He went a little bit more. Then we came inside. He went to sleep and slept completely through the night and was fine. And then when I took him out in the morning, he, sorry if this is TMI, by the way, but he had a little bit more diarrhea but it seemed like that was just like the last of it. Like it was just a little bit. And then I didn't feed him all of Tuesday because I didn't want to like make it worse and have him have like more in his system. I wanted to make sure it was like all out and done um, and just like give his stomach and everything a little chance to like heal. Oh, they're calling me. Okay, I'm obviously home now. Feel a sneeze coming. <coughs> Whew. Um, so yeah, I don't remember where I left off. They ended up calling me and telling me they had a room ready. It's now 1021. I left here around 630. So it's been a long morning and I barely slept all night. But yeah, so he got sick Monday night. I was like a little bit alarmed because obviously like his stomach was so upset that he couldn't even hold it in like because he never has accidents inside but then in the morning i took him out oh yeah i said this i took him out in the morning he went a little bit but it was like there was didn't seem like there was much left like he just squeezed a little bit out and i was like okay hopefully that means he's good and then the whole afternoon i was home with him he was fine i took him out a few times in the afternoon and he only peed he didn't do anything else so i thought like okay he must be good then and i didn't feed him all day yesterday because i just wanted to make sure like it was all out of his system first and then i went to work and that's when i had vlogged when i was getting ready to leave and didn't mention anything about it because i thought everything was good and it was no big deal like he just maybe ate something kind of bad that upset his stomach but it was out of his system and he was going to be good and i was planning on feeding him a little bit something when i got home from work last night I get home from work last night and thank God, sometimes when I'm gonna be gone for multiple hours when I'm working, I'll leave him in my room loose so he can just like chill on my bed and move around and stuff. But I just had a weird feeling. So I put him in his crate when I left yesterday and I'm so grateful that I did because he ended up getting really sick again last night. And when I came home, his, the blankets in his crate were all covered in diarrhea and it looked like a little bit of vomit too and he was covered i had to give him a bath clean it all up it was a hot mess and i can only imagine if he was just loose in my room oh my god then literally like all last night i just kept having to take him out every two hours then even in between the two hours I didn't really sleep well like I never fell into a deep sleep because I was so paranoid and worried that he was gonna get up and need to go out and I was scared I let him sleep in my bed because I was washing his blankets and his crate and he just they kept crying and wanted to be like the only thing that seemed to like comfort and calm him was like laying with me so I let him sleep in my bed but I was so scared that he was gonna get up in the middle of the night and like have an emergency and just like get sick either on my bed or in my bedroom on the floor so I was like on high alert I wanted to make sure that I could like jump up and take him outside luckily he didn't have any more accidents inside and then this morning I was supposed to open at the salon I was supposed to be there for eight o'clock so I had my alarm set for six I immediately took him out and 
that's when I noticed that he was just pooping blood. And it wasn't even like, oh, there was a little bit of blood in his poop. Like, no, like just blood was coming out of him. And then he started throwing up. Like he threw up two times in a row when I took him out this morning. So that really freaked me out. And I was like, okay, this is just getting worse. And then I came back inside and I was texting my boss to like let her know what was going on. Cause I was like, okay, I think I need to take him to the vet. Like there's no way that I can leave him home by himself and go work an eight hour shift and just leave him here all day. Like he's gonna just keep getting sick and that's terrible. I don't wanna leave him like that. I wanna, you know, get it checked out and make sure everything's good because I know that like diarrhea can happen and stuff, but the blood was really freaking me out and the fact that he was throwing up at the same time. And especially knowing like I hadn't fed him anything in over 24 hours. So I'm like, his stomach should be empty. Like why is this still happening? Just in that little time that I was like sending out that text, he ran out onto the balcony and he got sick two more times. Just in those like few minutes, his vet didn't open till 7.30. So I was like, fuck it. I'm just, I'm not even gonna wait till 7.30 to call them. I'm just gonna get in the car. I'm gonna drive there. And as soon as they open the doors, I'm just gonna go in and hopefully they can just see him right away. They were able to, luckily. They said that, you know, they asked him a whole bunch of questions. He is a super good dog. Like he doesn't chew up, he doesn't even destroy his toys. Like he's very gentle with everything. He doesn't chew things up. He doesn't try to eat things that he's not supposed to. Even like, honestly, I could literally take food. I could take like, freshly cooked chicken and I could just place it on the ground and unless I tell him okay you can have it he he won't touch it like he's a really really good dog so I know that he didn't get into anything or eat something that he wasn't supposed to they think that either he just got in contact with something like from another dog that like lives in the complex maybe or something, I, I don't know. They didn't really seem to know for sure, but they did an exam considering like his gums are still the same. He doesn't have a fever. He's acting totally normal. He's just sitting here watching me talking this whole time and it is the cutest thing. You listening to me talk about you? Yeah? But yeah, he's acting totally normal. He, aside from the diarrhea and vomiting, like he seems very healthy so she wasn't too alarmed she said that I could admit him to the pet hospital there and leave him there for the day and they would monitor him and hook him up to an IV and like all this stuff or she said we can just do like the outpatient option she would give him a couple injections and give me some medication to take home for him and like special food and stuff and I would just have to monitor him for the next 24 hours but she was like you know it just really comes down to a cost thing for you. I think that if, as long as you are able to stay home with him today and watch him, the outpatient option will be just fine. And if he doesn't get better in 24 hours, then call them back. So I called out of work today and I can just be home with him and also catch up on some sleep because I am exhausted. And this morning I was literally like, I called my mom crying because I was just feeling so overwhelmed and emotional. And I think it's because I was so sleep deprived too, but like he is literally my child. And I know people who don't have pets, it's like so weird to hear people say that, but literally I feel like he is my son and especially like living down here and not having my family he is all that I have and so I just get like so paranoid and so anxious and I freak out anytime I, there's anything wrong with him so yeah this morning I was just like really like when I saw that blood especially I was like oh my god it was a rough morning but I'm feeling a lot better now I'm just gonna chill out and relax the rest of the day i will check in sometime later it's oh my battery's dying <laughs> like i was saying it's several hours later both of us took a nice nap it was much needed oh my god and i still feel pretty tired so hopefully fingers crossed we will sleep 
well through the night and I'll just go to bed a little early. Tomorrow I don't have to be up early, thank God, so I can sleep in if needed. Cause even, I don't know if I said this, but even the night before, like Monday night when he originally got sick, he ended up sleeping through the night and was fine, but I did not sleep well at all because I was just so nervous. And anytime he would like move at all, I would wake up and like, be worried that he had to go out. So yeah, got two nights in a row of little to no sleep. I don't wanna jinx anything, but he seems good. I've been feeding him small amounts of the canned food that the vet gave me like every hour or two. She said like small frequent meals. I don't know, he seems okay. Um, he's been taking his medicines. We just got back from a nice long walk. He didn't go number two at all making me just a little bit nervous because that's what happened yesterday like he didn't go at all during the day and I thought we were in the clear and then last night it was not good so we'll see how it goes but he seems okay he hasn't thrown up anymore and he still seems like his normal self that's the update with him say a prayer for me that tonight goes well Good morning. Update on Benny. He is doing well. He seems almost completely back to normal. He slept completely through the night last night. I was able to sleep completely through the night and I was able to also sleep in a little bit. I didn't get up till nine this morning, which felt so good. So I'm feeling, despite how I might look, <laughs> I'm feeling very well rested and so much better and I'm just, so glad that he's better. I was trying to figure out what the hell he came in contact with because like I was saying yesterday, he's not the type of dog to like eat things he's not supposed to. And also, I mean, my apartment is relatively small. When I'm home, he is always right next to me. Like he doesn't wander off into the other room and go do, like he's a mama's boy through and through. He is always right by my side. So I'm always watching him, you know? And when we go out, it's not like I have a yard and I just like let him out on his own. Like when he goes out, I am walking him on a leash and I'm watching him the whole time. So I'm like, I just, I don't understand what the hell happened. And then I was thinking the only thing that he ate that was like out of the norm, which I did notice in his stool, We'll put it that way. The night that he got sick in his crate while I was at work. Remember when I was eating earlier in that vlog, I was eating that bowl of like rice and kale and meat and stuff. I ate most of what was in the bowl, but I had a little bit of rice left over with a little bit of kale. That was it. There was no meat or any of like the seasoning from the meat on it. It was literally just plain white rice with that kale, which like I said, I had just cooked in olive oil, salt and pepper. I don't usually give him people food unless it's like very bland stuff. And I try to always be really cautious and careful. And like, before I give him something, I look it up to make sure that it's safe and okay. I am 99.9% .9 positive I have given him kale in the past. And I've looked it up in the past and I like, it's listed as a safe food for dogs. And he never had issues with it in the past, but it was in his stool that night. And I'm like, you know, that is the only thing that I've given him that, and, and the only thing he's actually consumed as far as I know, that is out of the norm for him. So I did a little more research and then I was finding articles that were saying that it can be bad for them and it can cause diarrhea and vomiting if they eat it in large amounts which is a little weird to me because he did not have a large amount. But yeah, I'm thinking that that has to be what it was. And I told the vet that I gave him that and they weren't like, oh, bingo, that's it. That's what it was. But I don't know, from what I've read online, it sounds like that very likely could have been the culprit. I don't know. I mean, he could have came in contact with something from outside. Honestly, who knows? At this point, I'm just glad that he is feeling better but the vet did call earlier this morning to check in on him so that's the benny update i have work at the salon later this afternoon so i've just been kind of hanging out this morning getting some editing done last night i started watching this show on netflix i can't remember what it's called 
I'll show you in a second. I started watching the first episode and then like halfway through I got too tired. So I turned it off and went to bed. But I think I'm going to finish that episode because uh, it was starting to get pretty good. Come sit with me. <laughs> little boy. My little boy. So glad you're feeling better, Bean. Yeah, I'm so glad you're feeling better. This is it, Cabinet of Curiosities. It's eight episodes, and I guess each episode is like an individual story. And I don't know if they are connected. Like I said, I only got halfway through episode one, but I think they're supposed to be like creepy, like kind of in the horror genre. Oh, isn't this so nice? Now that my mirror is finally clean, I'm about to head to the salon to work. This is what I'm wearing tonight. This cropped crew neck sweatshirt, I just folded it up to make it slightly more cropped. It's from Zara. Dress pants are from Express. Wearing my Adidas Oswego sneakers. And then I've been using this tote bag, which it's like wrinkled to shit now because I just washed it last night and I left it in the dryer overnight. So yeah, now it's a wrinkly mess, but whatever. Um, my friend Julia that I do my podcast with got this for me. I don't know where she got it from. And these earrings are growing on me. I think I do like them, obviously, because I'm wearing them again. I kind of wish they were just a little bit smaller in diameter and i was gonna attempt to wear my hair down i put some dry shampoo in it but it was just looking frizzy and kind of greasy and just i just don't feel like dealing with it tonight so i just put it in a claw clip from amazon and i feel like the claw clip with the chunky hoops and this outfit it all goes i'm gonna take benny out one more time before i leave i'm gonna leave him in his crate tonight just to be on the safe side and Fingers crossed, he's been still good this whole time. So I'm really hoping that he will be okay and not get sick while I'm gone. I was looking up the schedule for tonight and it looks like the last client should be done by seven o'clock. So I am hoping they don't run over and I can be done by seven. I'm gonna try to be really on top of everything so that way as soon as I check out that last client, I can just get the hell out of there um, so I can get back home to him so he doesn't have to stay in his crate too long. I'll check back in when I get home tonight. No mess. Very happy. I just got home a little while ago. Took him out for a little walk. We just ate his dinner. I was really surprised. It was a pretty slow day at the salon because um, a few of the girls actually went out of town and are taking like a long weekend and then a few others were doing a wedding at a venue so there weren't too many clients at the actual salon tonight and normally you would think that would make the night go by slow but it flew by at one point I checked the time and it was almost six o'clock and I was like I've already been here for almost three hours how is that possible I feel like I literally just got here so I'm not complaining we love when that happens and I'm grateful because it was a little bit of an earlier night as well so I was able to get out of there like right around 7 15 flew home because I was just so nervous I was like oh my god I hope that he's okay and he didn't get sick so I'm gonna take it as knock on wood that we're in the clear and he is good so uh I <laughs> I stopped at Chipotle on my way to work and I got myself a bowl and didn't even end up eating it because like I said, the night just flew by so fast. I didn't even get around to eating. So I'm gonna have that now for dinner. I am going to end this vlog and I'm gonna start a new one tomorrow. And it's gonna be a really, really fun, exciting one. I'm gonna be doing hair at the salon. So stay tuned for that. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.